This school year alone, at least half a dozen teachers in our viewing area have been arrested or indicted on misconduct charges. Now, those charges range from having sex with a student to possessing child pornography. ABC 3340's Muriel Bailey looked into this crisis in the classroom. So, Muriel, how can this be prevented? Well, Pam, I put that question to a local school superintendent and I spoke with the state superintendent of education, Dr. Eric Mackey, and they explained the hiring process and what happens during an investigation into a teacher. Just one month into the 2022-23 school year, the arrest started. Since then, at least six teachers and or coaches have been arrested, charged or indicted for rape, having sex with a student or possessing child pornography. Some in the community voiced their concerns on social media. One person wrote, as a 40-year education veteran, I'm disgusted every time this happens. Another posted, it's getting to where it's not safe to send kids to school, period. If it's not shootings, it's pedophiles. A third said, it's to a point now in life where we trust absolutely no one with our kids. It's always the one you least expect. Makes me sick to my stomach. Sylacauga City School Superintendent Dr. Michelle Eller says background checks are done on a state level. The State Department does um, all the background checking for new teachers, new hires. Um, we send them that information. Um, they do the background check, fingerprinting. On the local level, the school checks references. Do you think that interview process needs to be tougher? I think you've got circumstances that sometimes are unforeseen. And I think that, you know, there's, there's some things that, you know, people make choices. And even though those may not have been choices they made previously, they've made it now. Eller says if there are issues of misconduct with a teacher, the best thing for a school district to do is make the State Department of Education and Certification Office aware. And that way their certificate can be flagged. And so another district doesn't have to go through whatever you've had to go through. State Superintendent of Education, Dr. Eric Mackey says, when a teacher is arrested, there is a protocol to follow. First of all, it's, it's a law that um, the school district has to notify us immediately. Um, that teacher, of course, has to be removed from the school environment immediately. We began a process, uh, an investigative process about whether that teacher's uh, teaching certificate may get revoked, suspended, non-renewed. Now, when a teacher is being investigated for misconduct, that teacher must be removed from the classroom until the investigation is completed. If there's something in the classroom you'd like to see covered, email me at muriel at abc3340.com.